that event that we just came from, that yeah. was like a standing room only event for a Secretary of State race. Yeah. That's like not something I've, I've been in politics a long time. It's not really something I've seen. Before. Yeah, well, you've never seen a Secretary of State race like this one. Do people understand the stakes here? People are starting to, really starting to come around and, and get the implications. This isn't just politics anymore. Can we depend on the people running the process to not muck it up on purpose? In a national interview last night, your opponent, Mark Fincham, reiterated his belief that Joe Biden is not the legitimately elected president of the United States. You have concerns about the legitimacy of President Biden's election. Along with, along with 60 plus percent of the people in the United States. Does I'm not mean? alone. He thinks there's a market, an audience for that in this state. Well, there is. Arizona used to have people called snake oil salesmen. And they would come into town in their little wagons with their fancy scarves and their top hats, and they'd say, oh, yeah, come on out. We've got this thing that we're going to sell you. It's going to cure all your ills. These folks are selling grievance. They're selling the same kind of snake oil in a different form. We have consumer protections now because of people like that. Right. We need election protections now because of those same kinds of people. What are the implications if Terry Lake is governor and Mark Fincham is secretary of state in Arizona? Well, one of the things isn't so much what they might do, it's what they won't do. OK. Right? Both Kerry Lake. Won't certify an election. And Mark Fincham said they would not have certified 2020. What does that mean? You don't certify the election. That means that the, the state of Arizona may not be included in the electoral college count. Because we're in this republic together. And if Arizona is the deciding to get to 270 state and its electors do not get seated or there's some other crazy thing that happens, guess what? The presidential election gets pushed to the House of Representatives. And each state has a single vote in that case. And then, what if a Democrat wins the popular vote in Arizona? And Arizona doesn't certify because of Mark Fincham. And all of a sudden, the House of Representatives puts a Republican in the White House. What happens to the American voters? Literally tens of millions of American voters whose voices are completely squashed because Mark Fincham became the Arizona Secretary of State. That's what's at stake. So we are at the edge. This could be the last regular election in American history.